Hello, and welcome to the five best targets to image in December. We will pick our three favorite objects to photograph as beginners, and we'll tell you why. We'll also be adding two difficult targets for our more advanced viewers. Let's get to it! Ho ho ho! <laughs> Welcome to December! Uh, we're gonna tell you our three favorite targets uh, for this month for beginners, as well as two extra advanced targets um, for December as well. So, um, go ahead and start. Which one is your favorite? So, for our beginner target, um, the first one would be the Crab Nebula, which is M1. And the crazy thing about uh, the Crab Nebula is that it is the only supernova remnant in the Messier catalog, which is super duper interesting. I really like this one a lot, actually. Um, I think if you guys really wanted to do this one for this month, very easy to get. What? Blows my mind about this target is that there is a, a time lapse, a 10 year long time lapse about this uh, nebula online, and you can see the core expanding and the gas is moving over a period of 10 years, and it's, it's insane to me. It's like a, a space time lapse, it's crazy. That's how fast it's expanding. That's crazy. 10 years might seem like a long time to us, but in space years. No, it's nothing. Crazy. <laughs> and then uh, my favorite would be. Whew, I love it so much. Bernard's Loop, which is a wide field uh, image you can get of a bunch of nebulae in there. So within Bernard's Loop, there is so many um, great objects, such as M42, so the Ryan Nebula, M78. Uh, there is um, the Horsehead Nebula, IC434, the Flame Nebula, mm. and the actual Loop of Barnard. So it's it's full of incredible targets, and I love doing it. Using our DSLR camera and a 50mm lens, it's perfect. I like it a lot. It looks like a smiley face or like the Cheshire Cat if you're really into Alice in Wonderland. Or oh, clown, scary clown. Oh. And then the third one for beginners would be... Oh, the Christmas tree and cone nebula. Uh, so the Christmas tree is actually a cluster of stars that uh, have a shape of a Christmas tree. And the cone nebula is on top, it's a nebula that looks like a... Like a like star. A cone, yeah, like a cone, like a... You know, yeah, like, like a tree topper. Yeah, pretty much. So those are a great, uh, a great pair of targets that are... I make pretty much one object together, and uh, they're fantastic. I think they're pretty easy to get. It's a bunch of HA in there, but you could get it, I think, with RGB as well, uh, as long as you have dark sites. And um, yeah, it's pretty perfect for... For the time. For, yeah, for anybody. I mean, even if you don't celebrate Christmas, still a really great target to get. We can say it's the most festive flag of the world. Yes. <laughs> and then we have two advanced targets. Um, the first one is a spooky one, so she will talk about that with you. The Witch Head Nebula, which is very, very large and spoopy as heck. <laughs> <laughs> it's large, it's faint, and it's difficult to get. And you would definitely need a, a dark sky for that. Um, well, how dark would you say? Portal? Portal 1 if you can. Portal 2, Portal 3. I would not go under Portal 4 because uh, Portal 1 to 4 would make this target great. Mm -hmm. But under it, you would need a lot, a lot, a lot of exposure. And you cannot even do narrowband with this target. So you have to do RGB, those regular RGB. So good luck with that. This is definitely. Probably one. Uh, it's one of the hardest if you don't hardest. have narrow band. It's one of the hardest considering you can only do RGB. And uh, well, it's one of the hardest, best nebulae to capture. So, so if you're looking for a challenge this month, you got it. Just make sure to drive away from home and find a dark spot, a very dark yes. spot, and get it. And um, the next one, or the last one, would be another spooky one actually. Spooky. The Boogeyman Nebula. Boo. I think the name is LDN1622. LDN1622. This nebula is a, it's a dark nebula, so it's also very, very difficult to get. It's also in RGB, and you will also get, um, you also have to, to be under a very dark sky. So Very dark skies. If you can, take two rigs, drive out very far to the Grand Canyon or something, and put both telescopes, one on the Boogeyman, one on the Witch Head, so you can make the best out of your trip. Yeah, make it a double. 
if and you get can. two very dark nebulae. So we'll see you guys uh, well next year actually. So well, I mean, for happy this series, new year. For this series, we'll see you guys next year. But or whatever, you know, do whatever you want. We want to wish you guys happy holidays from Galactic Hunter first of all. And if you guys need any help with uh, choosing targets, you can always find that online on our, at our website and also on our astrophotographer's guidebook, which is also available online. So if you want to give yourself a present for this month. Get a useful book. Yeah, or if you want to gift it to somebody who is just starting out because as we all know, you know, this is a difficult hobby. Like, you know, sometimes it can be a hobby killer to get the wrong stuff. So spark some interest with the Astrophotographer's Guidebook. So we'll see you guys next time. And Happy yes, holidays! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Oh, the merry bells keep ringing. Happy holidays to you! Ho ho ho!